Alok Pandey joins us live for more on this. Alok, uh, no time to speculate anymore. We are going to have the results trickling in shortly from now. But take us through what's the mood like. Your report did point out that keeping the pandemic in mind, there have been celebrations or perhaps the anticipation also has been quite muted. How is it looking like this morning? Well, uh, good morning, Sonal. I think the only addition so far to what was happening yesterday has been that we've put on these uh, coats to try and protect ourselves from COVID, which is also a raging issue at the moment. And one does hope that one doesn't become the story. But anyway, beyond that, uh, it's too early in the morning for a mood to develop, I guess. There are some people around, but uh, the people who are mostly around are either media personnel or they are morning walkers who've come here to try and catch a glimpse of what's happening. Many of them perhaps amused uh, by the amount of camera crews that are here, but then you'd expect that given that this is an election counting day. Uh, Tejasvi Yadav has not made an appearance since yesterday, Sonal. It was his birthday yesterday. We got some pictures on ANI of his family celebrating his birthday with him. Uh, Tej Pratap Yadav, his uh, brother, uh, came out and gave a brief soundbite to the media saying that, you know, the birthday gift, the people have already given the birthday gift uh, of an electoral victory to Mr. Tejasvi Yadav. He's just 31 years old. But uh, one doesn't know what he's feeling right now and one would not expect him perhaps to come out and speak before the counting actually starts. That's going to happen in a place called the AN College, uh, Sonal. That's about two kilometers from here in a place called Boring Road. So this is Circular Road. It's quite an icon iconic road here in Patna because this is where uh, Lalu Yadav, who of course is in prison right now, and his wife Ravi Devi and his children have stayed for a long, long time. Interestingly, if Rageshi can just pan the camera to that side, uh, this is the residence of Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar. I mean, you can see only trees here and a wall. But beyond that is where Mr. Nitish Kumar does live. Uh, so they've been intense rivals, friends for a brief while, brief while, but intense rivals in Bihar politics for a while. And they stay right next to each other. Uh, so that's very interesting to see. Like I said, there's a crowd to this side, but most of the crowd here, uh, the kind of crowd that has come here for their morning walk, etc. Uh, true RJD supporters here perhaps, not making an appearance yet, but I'm sure at some point of time, they will also come in uh, once counting of votes starts in a while sooner. And uh, Alo, compared to where you are at the moment, what's the mood like in the BJP camp? Uh, well, yesterday, Sonal, in the BJP camp, we did visit both the JDU and the BJP offices, and both offices were nearly shut. I mean, the gates were open, but you wouldn't find anyone il uh, inside. Uh, we went to the JDU office. There were a few people there, the caretaker, Babluji, who I've known for a while because I've reported out of Patna for about six years. And then I went to the BJP office where I found Rakesh Ji, the office manager. There were the only two people there. Uh, there were no big netas. Uh, in the evening, we did get some pictures from the Patna Sahib constituency that's been a BJP stronghold. And there were some laddus that were being made there. And uh, they were perhaps a local effort because uh, uh, state-wise or at the headquarters that should have been buzzing perhaps, that was not correct. That was not there, I'm sorry. But at the same time, I guess it will be premature. Like I said, there's no room for speculation. The actual counting of votes is going to begin at 8 a.m. So I guess we'll have to wait for a while before we can actually take a call as to whether this camp where all the buzz is, is the one that's going to emerge victorious or whether it's the other camp where there is no buzz. But you know, at the end of the day, it's an election result. So anything could happen.